Hi, George here, and I'll be showing you how you can put your own song onto a custom music disc like I have right here and change the look of the music disc. You can also change what the music disc says. We can do this whole thing with a custom resource pack. Easy to do. Just make sure you follow all the steps exactly, and I'll carefully describe everything for you. Okay, switch over to the desktop, and I'll show you how this is done. Okay, I'm building this pack for Minecraft 121.6. This is Java. And we'll start off with having a place to build a pack in, and that's this thing right here. Just make a new folder on your C drive or anywhere you want to. Just make a new folder someplace. I called mine pack. Name it anything you want, doesn't matter. Inside here, we're going to need the new song, of course, which I have right here. And you might want to have your own pack PNG file. I'll show you where you can get the default one, which is just that grass block thing. I'll show you where that is if you don't want to make your own. But these are real easy. It's just 128 by 128 PNG file, any picture that you want. Okay, we're going to be needing a bunch of folders in here. Let's start off with our two basic folders. Go up here to New, come down to Folder, and then this is Assets. Let's go inside of Assets, and New, Folder. This one's Minecraft. Change our view here, and inside of Minecraft, we'll be building right inside of here. We now need to get some files. We'll get those from the Vanilla Resource Pack, and for that, we have to bring up the launcher, or you can bring up a new drive window. I'll show you both ways here. The launcher is just easier. Here it is. Again, this is 121.6. And go up where it says Installations. And then over here, click on that folder icon right there. This opens the Installations folder. And there we go. Now, the other way to get here, let me open up another folder. Here we go. This is just on my C drive. Just go up here into the address bar and type in percent app data and percent. Hit the Enter key. And then right here, go into the .minecraft folder. Same place, you can see right there, exactly the same place. Okay, so two ways of getting here. The easy way is right here through the Minecraft launcher. Okay, in here, scroll down. I'm gonna come down here to where it says versions, go inside of versions. And here's all the versions that you have installed on your system. So your numbers will be different than what I've got here. So let's scroll down, you wanna find 121.6. And it's right down here. You don't want anything that says pre on it or RC1 or anything like that. With the one that just says 121.6. That's the right one to go into. Let's open this up. In here, you should see two files. One is a jar file, one is a JSON file. If you aren't seeing the .jar or the .json, then go over here to View and come down to Show and click on File Name Extensions. You'll then see that. That's all you have to do. Now, this is in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, just go up to the View tab at the top up there, click on the View tab, and over on the right hand side, put a check next to File Name Extensions. It does the exact same thing. Okay, let's take this jar file. We're going to copy this over to our working folder. So let's put this right here. Let's bring our working folder back up again. And that's right there. And then I'll right drag it over here and copy. There it is. Okay, we're done with this. Close that one down. And then we need to change this over into a zip file. It's easy to do. Click into the name once. Click it a second time. And you can then change that. Just backspace over a jar and change that to zip. Just like that. Click outside and choose yes, it now shows as a zip file. It always was a zip file, it just had a different extension on that. Let's now open this thing up, but I want this opening up in a different window, so right click on this, and we'll be opening it in new window. There we go. This lets me just drag and drop. Now the first thing I wanna show you is where you can get that other pack PNG. It's over here in this big list, it's way down, almost to the bottom down here, a long ways down. There it is, pack PNG. That's that grass block one. If you just want to use that, just go ahead and copy that over here. Let's just right drag it like that and copy. I already have mine, so I can ignore that. Let's now go up here to the top, go into Assets, and then into Minecraft. And everything we want is in here, except that we're missing one folder in here. We don't have a folder in here for sound, and we'll do that one in just a little bit. But if we go into the length, see we have a length file right here, JSON file. We need this one. We also need that folder. So this one's easy. Just right drag this over here and copy that one. There's our lang file. That lets us change the name inside the game. Okay, we next need to have the texture for the record. It's down here under textures, and it's an item right here. Let's change our view to a list, just easier to find this. Let's find the music discs, and they're right in here. There's all of our music discs, including the new tiers right there. Now we're gonna be changing the blocks disc, but I've had a question about the tiers one. It's the exact same thing, just use this stuff instead of the blocks one. No difference. Okay, take this, drag it over here, right drag and copy. And here's our music disc for blocks. I'll go ahead and I'll bring the tiers one in as well just to show you that. I'll just right drag it over here and copy. 
that's tiers. Okay, these are the images. These images go inside of this folder up here, textures and items. We need to make our textures and item folder over in here. That's inside of the assets and Minecraft. So right here, a new folder. This one's textures. And then inside of textures is a new folder. And this one's item. Just like we have up here. Okay, back out of that. And we'll be placing our image inside of that folder. These are just for reference. We're not gonna actually be using these. And the length file also goes inside here. So let's just drag that in like that. Open this up. Here's our length file, drag it into Minecraft. Open this up and that goes right here. We have one more folder we need right here. This is sounds folder. So let's make a new folder and just name it sounds. Our records go inside of here. Let's go inside of sounds. We have another folder here named records. New folder and records. And those will be going right inside of this. Okay, let's just back out of that again, right to pack. Okay, we're all done with the zip file. Let's go ahead and just get that closed. Okay, we need one more thing in here and that's a pack.mc meta file. Minecraft stopped including that back in 118, so it's been a long time. So I put these things on my website. Now let me bring that website page up. And that's right here. I'll put this link in the description so you can get right to this page. And just scroll down. And right here you want the one that says 121.6 and that's pack format 63. Just click on that. I'll bring up a download page right here. Let's go ahead, we'll download this into our working folder which is right here, put it next to these files, choose save. Okay, we've got that, let's close this down. And here it is. Now when I open this thing up, let's right click, open in new window. There's a pack MC meta, just drag that over here. We can then close this window down, delete this, we're all done with that file. Okay, here's our pack MC meta. Let's go ahead and get this set up right now since we have it. Now I like editing these things and any of my text files inside of Minecraft with Notepad++, it's a free download and it's a really good code editor, perfect for this kind of thing. If you want to, you can edit this in just Windows Notepad. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I'll open this up in Notepad++. Here we go. Pack format, that stays as is, that's correct. All we need to do is change the title up here. So let's change this one to custom record and I'll leave the 121.6 on there. There we go. So that's all set to go and then save that. If you want to open this thing up in Notepad, you open with, there's Windows Notepad, just this once. Exact same thing, just change what it says right up here. One more thing that you have to do when we're gonna be saving this out to a file and do save as, you'll save it as a text document. The name is correct. Change the encoding right down here. This has to be changed over to ANSI, A-N-S-I. You can then save that. That's the important thing with Notepad. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work. One of the reasons why I like using Notepad++, it doesn't mess that up. Okay, that's all taken care of. We have our pack PNG, that's good. Let's now go ahead and grab our images for our two disks in here. And I like doing these things over on a site called Pixabay. Let me bring that up. And it's right here. I'll change this to illustrations. And let's do a search here for a disk. It's gonna give us a lot of different stuff. All kinds of CDs in here. A bunch of stuff that's kind of a strange thing here. Really old style rewritable CD. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Just scroll down until you find something you like. I like this one. I'll right click on this, open a new, and let's download this. Now to download, you need to have an account. I already have one. Just click on join and give them your email address. That's all you have to do. They don't annoy you with a lot of emails. So this is a good one to join and it's free. I'll log into my account. There we go, I'm logged in. You can now download this. Click on download. You want the smallest size. We'll be using a much smaller size than that, but you want the smallest size right now. Choose download and save this back into the same folder. Right here, choose save. Okay, let's close this down. We need one more. I think I'll take this just for the heck of it. That's way back into the 80s and 90s. Okay, let's open this up and download. Same thing, smallest image size and choose save. Okay, we're done with that. We can close this all down. Here's our two images we'll be using. We now need to resize these. If I go over here and let's right click on this and look at the properties and details, you see that these are 16 by 16 pixels. That's really small. We're gonna go four times that to 64 by 64. Now, whenever you're upsizing these things, you always wanna go with a multiple of the original. That way it looks nice and sharp. If you do anything else, you're gonna get some fuzziness in there. So I always go with the multiple. So we just do it four times, and that's 64 by 64. Okay, you can do this in any program that you like. It doesn't matter, except you can't do this over in Windows Paint because Paint doesn't have transparency. Windows Paint 3D is fine, but not Windows Paint. The last time I did this video, I used an online image editor. This time I'll use paint.net, which is a download for free. Let's go over here, right click, and it's open with all my other stuff in here. 
but I'll open this up with paint.net. There we go. So the first thing I want to do is to bring the size down on this. Let's go up to image, come down to resize, and I'll just take off that zero at the end of there, make it 64 by 64. I'll leave everything else the same. Down here where it says resampling, we want to set at nearest neighbor. That keeps all your edges sharp, very important. Okay, it makes a real small file size as you can see. Let's go ahead, we'll zoom in on this. We still have some good detail in there. Now I also want to have this thing as a circle and not as a square. So I want to delete some of these pixels out here so we have a transparent background. Now an easy way is just to select those things with the magic wand. Just come out here, click into this area here. That selects all that stuff out there. Hit the delete key. So we now have a transparent background. This is going to work out fine. Now some of these things that are kind of flying away out here. We don't want to have those. Those are going to cause us problems. So let's grab the eraser tool. And I'm just going to erase those out just like that. Anything that's flying out, I want to get rid of those. Make sure you completely erase it and it's not just partially erased or you get a weird transparency thing happening in there. So I'm just going to erase it fully. Just go back and forth a couple of times like that. That should be enough. And like that. And that one right down over here. And I might take the edge off of that one. Okay, there we go. That's our circle. Let's save this. Hit the save button. Choose OK. And that one's done. Okay. Let's now open up our other one. That's this image right here. Same thing, right click, open with, and paint.net. This already has transparency. We're good on that. That's that checkerboard pattern. So that's okay. Let's just bring our size down, image, resize. And again, I'm just going to take off that zero at the end. Makes it 64 by 64. That's good. Choose OK. There is the image. Let's save that one. Choose OK. And we're done. And close that down. Okay, we have our two new images. These are both been resized. We can double check that by right clicking on this and properties and details. There it goes, 64 by 64, that's good. Okay, now this one has to be renamed to match this, music disc blocks. We'll rename this one to match tiers over here. So I'm going to move these things first. I'll grab these two like that. Let's drag them in here to assets. And I'll do them right here so it's easy. Okay, let's go over here, click into the name once. Click a second time, and then right-click on that name and copy. Let's go into our assets. Click into the name once, click a second time. Right-click and paste. That renames that one. We get back into pack. So right here, click into the name once, click a second time. Right-click and copy. Back into assets. Click into the name, click a second time. Right-click and paste. They're both now renamed. Let's now move those into the right folder. Grab those, drag them into Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft, let's just change our view here. These go inside of the textures folder. Let's go inside of here. And these go into the item folder. And that's done. Okay, finished with all those. Let's now take care of the names of the records. Go into Assets and Minecraft and Lang right here. Let's change our view. We have this one called ENUSJSON. I'm in the US, so mine is English US. If you're in a different country, I'll put a link for a video on how to find your correct JSON file. This is the Lang file. They go inside of this, and in here, this is everything that it says anything inside of the game. This is where you can change all the stuff that it says inside the game. We want to change the names of the record disks. Let's go over here. We'll do a search and find, and then type in music disk and find. So disk five and down below, you see all the rest of our disks right down in here. So you can close this down. And here is the blocks right there, blocks description and blocks. We want to change both of these two things where it says music disc and blocks. Let's just change this to custom one. I'll copy that, just select that, right click and copy. Let's paste that right where it says music disc, the one that's just above that, right click and paste. And then let's scroll down a little bit. And right down here we have tiers. Let's select that, right click and paste. And I'll change that to two, so I have custom two. Let's select this, right click, copy, and then the music disc just above that one, right click and paste. And that takes care of the renaming for the inventory. We now need to change the name that shows up in the jukebox. So for that, we have to do another search in here. Go up to search, come down to find. We're still searching for music, choose find next. And just walk on down like this till we're out of this section. And right here, at the top up here, it says jigsaw block target, target name, and then all the names in here are for the records. This is what shows up in the jukebox. Let's rename blocks right here. This is going to be custom one. And then right down here where it says tiers, this is custom two. And that takes care of the naming inside of the jukebox. Okay, we'll go ahead and save this. We can then close this and go back to the pack folder.
I'm going to bring in one more sound file here. Let's just grab one out of my list. I'll grab this one right here and copy that. There we go. So I have two songs now. Both of these songs need to be converted over to the OGG format, right? Now they're MP3 files. This traffic cone here, this is just because I use the VLC media player. If you use a different media player, you'll have a different icon on those. That's all that's about. And these have to be renamed and also have to be converted over to .og. You can use any good converter for this, although I have found some of the online converters tend to do a bad job. I'll be using a downloaded converter, which is always perfect. And that's Audacity. Let me bring that up. Here's Audacity. Now the easy way to get a file in here is just to drag and drop like that. There we go. Notice that this is a stereo file. We need to have this as a mono file. We also need to change it to OGG and we also need to rename this file. Do all those three things. We do those in one step here. I'll go up to File, come down to Export Audio. Here we go. I'm just going to rename this one. This will be Blocks. We're using the AUG Vorbis Files format right here. We can't put this into the actual folder if we want to. Go ahead and click on Browse. So let's just navigate in. Here we go Minecraft, Sounds, and Records. It goes right here. Choose Save. Change this to Mono. Everything else can stay the same. Choose Export. And let's make sure that that's done. Over here, go to Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Records, and here's our new file right there. Let's just change that view to large icons. There we go. That one's done. Let's go in here, click on that little X right there, close that out. Let's grab our second file right here, drag and drop. Again, same thing, stereo. We'll bring in this one, Tears. Go up to File, Export Audio, change the name to Tears. The pack folder is correct. Ogvarvis Files, that's correct. Make it a mono file and export. And that's done, and we're done with Audacity. Okay, so far so good. We now can build the pack. So we need the Assets folder. I'll hold the Control key down. We need that pack MC Meta and the pack PNG. Right click, and that's Compress to Zip File, and give it a name. I'll call it Custom Record 1 21 6 is our new record file. If you're working in Windows 10, just go up to the top menu bar, click on the Share tab, and you'll find the zip right there. We can now put this into the game. Let's bring back up the Minecraft launcher. Here it is. Go back here. It says Latest Release, and click on the Open Installations folder. Let's scroll down. I want to find the Resource Packs folder right here. Here it is. We want to put our new pack right inside here. Let's take this, and I'll right-drag it over here and copy. Let's now go into the game and test this out. I'll use this Play button right there, and we'll load the game. Here's my menu screen. I don't use that scrolling panorama. I have my own custom menu screen. If you want to find out how I did this, I have videos all about this. I'll put the links for those videos in the description. Let's come down to Options, Resource Packs. Here's our custom record right here. Click on that button. Brings over here, right-hand side. Choose Done. Let this load up. Choose Done again. Let's go into our single-player game here, and we'll check out our new records. Okay, so now test that out. Hit the E key and go into Tools, and come down in Tools down here. Here's our new records. There's the first one right here. It says Custom 1 and Custom 1, and then this is Custom 2, Custom 2. That's all correct. That naming is right. Let's drag one of those down here and bring this one down here. Let's check these out now. There's our jukebox right there. Roll over that. That says Custom 1. That says Custom 2. That's correct. Let's click into the jukebox here with Custom 2. Now playing Custom 2. That's correct. And there's that song, kind of a quiet jazz piece. Let's now do our first one here. It says Custom 1, right click. Now playing Custom 1, and more of a rock piece. So there you go. That's how you can change records inside of Minecraft Java, and of course change the look of the disc, and also change what it's named in all locations. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, click on subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you next time.